Guys, check out what I just got in the Canadian Post. Possibly a new box from our friends up north. Fish Allure, maple leaf with a little bonefish on it. Hey, welcome back to another episode of Burly Fishing. Today, we're doing a little different unboxing. This is a box from a brand new, kind of up and coming company that's based in Canada. So our friends up north, North America's hat, if you will. Uh, and we're gonna pop this thing open. We're gonna see what's inside. So these guys actually sent me this box for free to check it out, give them a little review on it, and let them know, hey, maybe here's some things that you could do to improve this service. And I think that's kind of cool. I'm always excited to check out boxes from the brand new guys on the block as well. Love scoping out, as you guys know, comparing all these boxes across the broad spectrum that is fishing subscription boxes, right? We try to check out as many as we possibly can or as, as many as my pocketbook will allow uh, and see if we can get some good heckin' baits out of them and go fish with them and catch some fish, right? So that's what we're gonna do. Again, this company is called Fish Allure. Fish Allure, like fish, fishing a lure, or the allure of a fish. I don't know. Um, you know, I'm intrigued on the name. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, it's, as you can see from Canadian Posts, I took off my little like customs flyer there, so we're not gonna look at that because it's got important information on it. But we're gonna pop this bad boy open. But hey, before we do, be sure to subscribe to the channel. Smash the like on this video if you like it. Drop me a comment. Let me know maybe like, yeah, I don't know, what you think about this box. And I'll provide that feedback right back to these guys so they can make it better. And Canadian friends, you always get mad at me for opening Monster Bass because they don't send to Canada. We don't ship there yet. Maybe we will soon. But hey, you can check this out in the meantime, all right? So let's pop this bad boy open, shall we? Da, 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 da. What do we got? Okay, we're gonna do it the way we always do it, right? I'm just gonna pop this guy open. We're gonna go top to bottom. Keep in mind that this is like their beta box, right? This is not the final box that they're gonna use as far as design goes. Uh, and we might get some, you know, beta baits in here. We might get some stuff that's not so great. And they're probably willing to change that. We're gonna give them some feedback. So you guys can help me help them by dropping me a comment and let me know what you think. First things first, we got a nice little Canadian sticker. Now I am American. I don't know if I can fly this maple leaf on my boat, but I'll put it on my desk for sure. Okay, little bait card, right? So they've got everything listed on there as well as it looks like the value of those baits. So we're getting, you know, we'll just go through it as we open it up, right? So we got some brands in here. Right off the top, I'm gonna start with uh, I'm gonna start with the weirdest thing to include in a fishing box off the top. We got some jerky. You guys know I've done a beef jerky unboxing. If you haven't seen it, you can go back and check it out on the channel if you want to. It's all about beef jerky, but I am passionate about boat snacks. Paul, co-host of the podcast, Burley Fishing Podcast, go like and subscribe to that. Uh, Paul and I hashtag boat snacks all the time, and we love our boat snacks, and they're very important to us. So we got some jerky here. Original flavor from Billy Bob's Jerky. Best before 11, 25, 20. So I don't know how long jerky is supposed to last, but we got just like a month or so to uh, consume this. So I might as well consume it right now. Comes with like little sticks. It's good, I like it. It's like a little snack. Cleanse my palate, allow me to open the rest of this box, huh? Still chewing, 10 years later. Okay, so beef jerky's out of the way. Rest of the box, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven lures in here for a total value of 64.19, so you guys keep track. You let me know if you think it's worth that much. First bait, oh, sweet bait. I gotta do some swim bait fishing for the six cents box anyways, but we've got a Savage Gear. This is the 3D, I don't know why they box it like upside down, like the label's kind of weird, but it's called the 3D Four Play V2, and this is a swim bait. Look at that thing, it's pretty sweet. All right, let's go to the lip lure. It's got one, two, three joints, and then like plastic tail. So check this guy out, and let's just look at that kind of action. This is what you're gonna be getting as you fish this through. It does have a lip, so it's gonna dive a little bit further down, therefore it doesn't weigh as much. So we're not relying on it to sink down, it's gonna dive thanks to this lip. It's not a super wide lip, so that's gonna allow it to keep that action and probably not dive too deep. All right, so it weighs five eighths of an ounce. It's a slow floating bait, diving down to two to four feet. 
uh, 0 0.6 to 1.2 meters for my metric friends. And it also weighs 18 grams for you guys out there. Five eighths of an ounce, diving down two to four feet. And it's a slow float. So it's something where we can fish it, pause it, let it come back up. And it's got sort of this like gold shiner type color to it. So nifty, seems semi durable. It looks like it has a replaceable tail, maybe. Tail might be replaceable, no, no. All in all, good looking bait. Pretty sweet, you don't get swim baits in these types of boxes that often. Now it is Savage Gear. They say it's a $15.99 value. Maybe, maybe. It's a pretty expensive bait. All right, next up, we got a Lunker Hunt. This is the suspending jerk bait uh, called the Slash 6S. It's a half ounce, about 4.3 inches in length, six foot depth. You can dive this thing down to about six feet. And it's suspending, so when you pause it, it's not floating up or dropping down. It's just kind of sitting right there, which is nice, actually. This time of year, suspending, see, send me a sinking jerk bait or a floating jerk bait, like what the heck other boxes out there suspending is where it's at like if you got them staging up somewhere they're not typically just sitting on the bottom or sitting on the top you know most of the day they're kind of suspending somewhere so if i can find those fish key in on them i can sort of fish this thing through that six foot water column area you know be like popping the rod giving it a good you know jerk twitching action uh, and then I can pause it, you know, just sit there. And it's that pause that's so enticing for bass that I get most of my strikes that way. But anyway, so we got three hooks on this bad boy. It is a little bit longer. You can fish it on the top all the way down to about six feet. It's got sort of a ribbed, rigid body, sturdy lip. I don't have a lot of Lunker Hunt jerk baits, so I have nothing really to compare this to in my own personal experience. And then we've got sort of this dull fire tiger color, which I'm actually liking. I've gotten some fire tigers from other brands this summer that are just insanely vibrant or holographic sometimes. And this is more of a, almost, almost a more natural color, I would say, that I think would work well in my waters. So I like it. I can dig that. Okay, we got a Vexan 3 8 ounce spinner bait. I gotta be honest. Not a fan of Vexan, not at all. I have gotten several of their baits through Mystery Tackle Box. Um, one of them's right here. It's a, a square bell that swims sideways because the lip is crooked. Um, just not a fan. I just haven't been wowed by them yet. So maybe this will change that. So this is called the Sidewinder. It has a new vibe skirt. So. On the back, I love that they, <laughs> Vexan wrote this. Vexan has done it again. Can't say that about yourself. <laughs> what the heck? It's a unique 3 8 ounce spinner bait that features floor, blah, 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 blah. So basically what they say it features is like this long, look how long the skirt is on this thing. That's insane. Hooks way up here. Uh, but it's, it's a notched skirt. So I don't know if you guys can see that there, but the skirt, has like little notches in it. So apparently that means it's gonna vibrate or move a little bit more or better mimic an injured bait fish as they say. Um, blades on this look kind of cheap. They're already kind of dinged around the edges out of the box. Uh, spacer seems good. I'm gonna have to just tie this thing on and, and fish it, you know? I like the shape of that fish head there. That's pretty nice. Eyes look good. Um, you don't often get like good quality on these things on some of the spinner baits you get. Um, ooh, hook is sharp and hook is like, look at that. That's a pretty light wire hook. That, that's not like the typical gauge hook that I see on a spinner bait. That's ultra light wire. So that's interesting. I don't know what that's going to do for me. I feel like you have to have a trailer hook on this because of how far back this skirt goes. Like you're going to get some short strikes on that. I think, um, we'll have to toss it out there. We'll see how it spins. Look at the red belly on that thing too. That's super red. So we got just like some greens, blacks, a little bit of like candy grass in here with purple and green. We got the yellow on there and then we've got just the green, black and red body of the fish with two silver willow leaf blades. Not a bad looking spinner bait. Definitely interested to fish it. Uh, value of that one's like $7.99 it says. Well, these are gonna be 
Liddy. Next up, we got some hooks. This is the Mustad Impact Hook. Impact Hook. What the heck is this? It's a 3 uh, 1 16 ounce, so it is weighted. That is an odd shaped hook. So sort of uh, an EWG with a really weird shape. Guessing the shape on this is I can rig like, you know, your worm, your plastic, whatever plastic you're gonna fish, right? And it's just gonna sit on more of an angle, kind of like that, versus maybe an EWG is a little bit more flat there. I don't know what difference that's gonna make, but we do have a little weight to this hook. It's 1 16th of an ounce, so it doesn't weigh too much at all. But let's say you're fishing weightless and you're, you're just not sinking at the rate that you want. You could throw on a super light weight like this, uh, you could rig a weight on top of the hook, or in this case, the weight right below the plastic, which would be a different way of rigging it. Kind of intriguing. I'm excited to fish that. You get four hooks in this pack as well, which is, hey, not a bad friggin' deal. Next one up, we got we Weapons of Bass Destruction. <laughs> Canada. <laughs> so, this is uh, obviously a Canadian brand, okay? Weapons of Bass Destruction. It's a half ounce swim jig. It's a pretty heavy swim jig. Half an ounce. And it's mighty heckin' colorful, too. Check this baby out. It's got... Dude. Holy cow. Alright, so we got blues, oranges, yellows, sort of a... Yeah... Some, some green flakes up on top. Almost like a watermelon candy type color. We got the paint job looks pretty slick. Okay, it's like spotted there like a green pumpkin with spots on it. The eyes are kind of trash, but whatever. They honestly look on like just the glue on googly eyes. Kind of funky eyes there. The wow, the brush guard is super plush. Like that's not it's not really doing much at that point, I don't think, but it is a swim jig. It's not a structure jig, it's not a flipping jig, you know, you're, you're not really throwing this where you throw your standard jigs. I think all in all it looks pretty cool. It's got like this really vibrant skirt there. It's gonna be interesting to see what that does. Not quite sure what color to pair this up with. <laughs> Something bright, some, some, some sort of bright trailer go on this, some bright paddle tail. I love fishing these types of lures and a lot of bodies of water that I fish. So I can see myself throwing this and it's something different that I guarantee nobody's throwing a color like this around there. So I might stand out a little bit more. Well, I don't, I don't, I don't know. It's a jig, man. We're going to see. You know we're doing an on-the-water review for this thing. You got to. We got good old X-Zone. So we got the X-Zone Pro Series. Um, I've been getting a bunch of these this, this summer, actually, from the, the different boxes. Like, I got one from Monster Bass. I got a pack from MTB. This is the 4-inch Adrenaline Bug. This is a different color though, which is cool. Add that to my collection. Solid bug style bait. Got big old appendages right there. Can break out these flappers and now we've got tons and tons of action in the water. This is actually one of my favorite colors of any plastic to throw and that is, uh, I think it's called Summer Craw. Yeah, Summer Craw. So it's got green pumpkin, but then it's got like this bright green highlight, usually on one half of the body. Some of these plastics look like they got poured a little weird. Like this one, for example, is like still, it's like camouflage green pumpkin with a little of that vibrant green or almost chartreuse color to it. So it's gonna look funky, but it's gonna add a little bit of flash to it. You know, X-Zone plastics are pretty durable. Um, something you can like cut in half, throw it on a jig trailer. We can rig this. So what I'm assuming this is for is we just go ahead and we rig this right to that must add hook that we got, right? I like to go bright colors on the bottom, honestly. So we go here, slider up over that weight without hopefully tearing the plastic off. There she is. Oh yeah, that sits pretty good. So it sits like right above that weight there. Got our line tie right sticking out the top. Then we just roll the bait up, stick our hook in, slide it through and then skin hook it on the top. Boom, and we got it rigged nice and straight. I think that looks good. Super light. You know, something we could throw out there right now, it's gonna sink pretty slow. I bet you we get a bite on this. I bet you I can take it out this weekend and get a bite on it pretty quick. This is exactly how I'm fishing. This is the, the exact style that I'm fishing right now. It's pretty slow. Um, but the heat is dropping off, so I don't know. Hopefully it's not too late. But I bet we can get a bite on that for sure. So that looks good. I like it, I'm gonna leave it rigged. Last thing we got, it's a really weird heckin' color. So this is the Wave Fishing, what color is this? 
the tiki stick, the five inch tiki stick. This is sweet potato pie. Oh man, sweet potato pie. What a weird color. I don't, I don't know. It looks like a coral snake, right? It looks like a poison coral snake and a snake-like body. I mean, these are wave fishing. Uh, I did a giveaway with wave fishing with like a lizard style bait with a curly tail last time. Seem pretty durable. Look at the stretch to this. Surprising amount of stretch actually. So that seems decent. We're gonna see how they hold up. I've never fished them because I gave away that plastics before ever using them. Uh, but action looks pretty good. Again, I just don't know about this color. I just don't know. Is this a juice? Is this like a secret juice that I don't know about? Tell me in the comments. All right guys, that's it for that box. So uh, all in all, I think some decent baits in there. I think some weird baits in there, weird colors uh, for that. Well, no, not just for that. Like the jig was a weird color too. These are just like odd colors I wouldn't really throw. Um, these I will definitely throw. So there's, I'm like 50-50 on this box. Psyched for this. Love fishing some swim baits like that. I'm getting into it. Can't go wrong with the suspending jerk bait. I mean, you just can't. It's going to catch fish. I like these mustad hooks. I think that's cool. Good touch. And I do not like Vexan, but maybe they surprise me. Maybe, maybe I'm wowed by this spinner. Maybe it catches me a giant pike. I don't know. I'm going to fish it real soon here. Oh, and you get a snack. Like a free snack, basically. All right, so all in all, we had seven baits plus a thing of jerky in there. Value ranging from like two bucks for the jerky up to $15.99 for that swim bait. Total value of the box, as it says right there, $64.19. Do you think it was valued at $64.19? Do you have any suggestions for a company like Fish Allure? What would you like to see them do with their box? Uh, was there anything that didn't wow you or you just cringed a little bit when you saw it? Let me know in the comments. They'll probably see this video because I'm gonna send it to them, right? Once I've done the full unboxing review and I'm gonna take these baits on the water too and make sure that they see that as well. But you guys drop your comments, they'll read them, right? And I think that's really cool uh, when companies reach out and do things like this. So, hey, thanks to Fish Allure for sending me the box. I'm always happy with some new baits. I'm sure I can figure out something to do with them. Maybe go fish, I don't know. Uh, and, uh, you know, I'm just gonna finish snacking on this. But hey, if you guys liked the video, be sure to uh, like this video, subscribe, drop me a comment, ring that notification bell so you can see when I post more videos. And uh, we'll see you on the next one. See you out in the water. Hey there, thank you so much for watching the video today. If you wanna see more content like this, be sure to click this circle, wherever it is right here, to subscribe to the channel. And if you wanna watch more videos or check out a playlist from me, you can check out this video over here, this general area, or this video over here. So you got lots of options.